Hi, this is Nathan, your neighbor at Arcade and Pinball Ready, Talk Guy. We're going to be reviewing two. Street Fighter 2 by Guy Live Ready, Today at Rec Bar 812 in Southern Indiana. Uh, please look for our written description under the, the video. And beyond that, let's go ahead and get this review underway, shall we? First things first, who doesn't like Street Fighter? I mean, one of the largest and longest running franchises for video games, especially fighting video games. And so far, uh, flipper gap is actually very wide with the angle of the flippers, but there is a stop peg in there, I'm assuming for that reason. That, that just means the flipper gap being the way that it is and it pointing down, it just makes the shots a little bit harder to make and you just got to adjust uh, to that shot due to the flipper being the way that it is. A traditional layout, you have your in lane left right, out lane left right. Obviously champion challenge, which is uh, bison to the center. You have your car, which is a subfloor of the play field. Uh, which obviously you you break the car just like the video game of course uh, you have a, a scoop slash kick out which is the Honda you have three flippers to this game that lane there goes to a kick out you also have a ramp to the left of that which will rise or lower depending on where you are and right now we're on Saget There's a kick out. We're in Bison. We're just one and two right now. So we defeated in Bison. We'll go to Car Crunch. So there's a little flipper inside of this uh, sub play field, which allows you to hit the car. And as you can tell, the right ramp is also up now. So both ramps go up and down. Let's see if we could. There we go, advance the car. Keep your eyes to yourself, And as you can see, these flippers, it's hard to get that shot where you want it to go just because of the angle of them. You actually gotta hit them to get a straighter shot. You gotta hit them at the base of the flipper coming off of the rail. Let's go to multi-ball. That way you can score some points and hit a couple extra shots to talk about. Theme is what you'd expect, the Street Fighter. Obviously, everyone loves Street Fighter. Artwork is, is very generic, but at the same time, based off of the age of this game, uh, it's what you would expect. As you notice, that left, that ball went up into the ramp and went into a lock back there. Replayability on Street Fighter. Some people hate this game. I actually don't think it's that bad for what it is. It is very blocky into the center, so that might be why a lot of people don't like it. But I don't necessarily mind a blocky game. Uh, as you notice on the right side, we went through Vega, which was under the ra uh, the ramp, and it went up to a kick out and lock. So we're gonna go Roman Ninjas, and then it pops back out to your uh, your pop bumpers to the middle. I would have shook the table a little bit to save that ball, but I didn't want to distract uh, everyone off the video or change the angle of the camera. So fun factor, I really don't think it's that bad actually. Not a bad game at all. Is it the greatest game? No. But it's not bad for what it is. So now we just defeated Balrog. Replayability on it's there. Theme is there. We'll go multi-ball again. Sound bites are decent. Could be better. Really no call-outs. It's just more sound bites. And you know, for it being a simplistic table, it's really not too shabby. Obviously with the ramp down, you go to the left ramp down and the swirls to a kick out. And your right ramp goes up to an area where you have a spinning flipper, uh, which pushes the ball to a habit trail to your right end lane. But all in all, this game is pretty fun. I would rate this literally probably roughly at 8.5 out of 10. Um, multiple reasons for that, but all in all, it's a great game. It's just common, it's general, it's an average game. Uh, but it's not bad. So definitely check this out at Rec Bar 812 when you get the opportunity or any arcade or pinball hall uh, near you. And beyond that, look for our review. The metrics will be below our video. Till next time, this is your neighborhood arcade and pinball talk guy, Nathan, signing off. Thank you again for watching today.